Still in the news, the World Health Organization's chief scientist says that UN agency is waiting to see more details on the efficacy and safety of uh, AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine and urged other developers to maintain efforts in order to provide enough doses for billions of people. AstraZeneca said on Monday its COVID-19 vaccine should be around 90% effective given the world's fight against the global pandemic, a new weapon, cheaper to make, easier to distribute and faster to scale up than rivals. Sumya Swaminathan said that the company's highest reported success rate of about 90% was encouraging but based on rather small numbers. The schedule which gave um, a smaller dose followed by a larger dose, actually the efficacy seems to have been higher up to 90%. But again, this is based on rather small numbers and I think we need to wait to see the results, both of the efficacy and the safety. The AstraZeneca vaccine is also being currently trialed in many other countries. And eventually we should have data on about 60,000 patients or so that will enable us really to have a much more informed decision. While there was most certainly a temporal and geographic cluster associated with the market, not all of the cases in that initial cluster can be linked directly to the market. So the market is likely to have been a point of amplification, as we've seen, uh, for example, in the Shanghai and the, the event in Beijing, we had a, a, a Shanghai, um, a, a similar event. So we, we're, we, we don't know whether it was a, a human that drove the amplification event at the Wuhan market, or was it an animal? Was it an environmental contamination? We don't, we, don't, we don't know that. Only a fundamental change in funding and approach will realize the full promise of the ACT Accelerator. 4.3 billion US dollars is needed immediately to support the mass procurement and delivery of vaccines, tests, and treatments. A further 23.8 billion U.S. dollars will be needed next year. You know, there are ways in which you can reduce the risk, um, but there is no zero risk, unfortunately, in this situation. Um, I do think I agree with Mike and, and, and all of you who understand that this is incredibly difficult because especially during holidays, especially during birthdays, especially during these family celebrations, we really want to be with family. Um, but in some situations, the difficult decision not to have that family gathering is the safest bet. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.